What's up guys? I'm just going to do a quick video here for some people on on the Facebook group that want a quick way to mix up their juices. Um, this is a great way to mix it up to its full potential really fast, super cheap. Um, really, you don't even need, I mean steeping always helps. Time time is, is always good for e-juice to steep, uh, but this is a, a way to really speed things up. Um, my custards used to take, you know, a good two weeks to really steep and get rich in their flavor, but this will do it in three minutes. So we'll just dive right in. Um, basically, all you need is uh, <sighs> okay. I bought this box. This is just a plastic box that I bought from Radio Shack. It's just a uh, called a project box. It's like six bucks. Uh, it comes just like this with four screws to mount. Um, it's very simple. I just drilled a little hole back here, tied a knot for the power. You can you could also power this with a with like a nine volt battery or or really anything. There's many ways you can do this. Um, mounted a switch right here. Just a little toggle switch. And then inside, all you do is um, grab an old PC fan. This is just a 12 volt fan out of a freaking like a 1998 PC. This magnet is out of a hard drive. Um, you can tear apart an old hard drive and get this rare earth magnet. These are really strong magnets. Um, I've got a whole bunch of them right here. But just tear apart your your uh, your hard drive to get this magnet. And this, some people glue these onto their fan, but it, this will actually stick to your fan. This is just stuck on it. So there's really no need to, to glue it down. Um, it does just fine, just just kind of magnetized to the fan itself. And then some people mount the fan with bolts onto the lid. Uh, but then you got four bolts, bolt heads, unless you countersink them, sticking up. So I just I just used a, I don't know if you can see it, but I used four needle tip droppers and just ran the needle up through the holes. And then I mounted. Uh, the droppers onto some velcro, some sticky velcro. Can't really see in there, but it's just mounted onto some velcro so I can kind of make small adjustments if I need to. Um, here's the switch. Very basic wiring. Um, I power it with just a nine, this is a nine volt uh, power from, a, from an old router I picked up at Radio Shack in their bin. It was like a dollar. Uh, just a wall plug, nine volts, steady. So I just wired that up with the fan and wired that to the switch. So plug this in, hit the switch, and it turns the fan on. And you want this fan to be as high up as possible without making contact with the bottom of your lid. That way it's strong. So very simple. I mean, the fan came out of an old PC. The switch was like three bucks. Um, the the electrical, the nine volt power adapter was a buck, uh, and the box was like five bucks. Um, very very simple to make and very effective. So how it works is you put uh, put your lid on. I'm not going to screw it down for now, but. Um, whatever you mix your juice in, I usually just mix in a, in a little 50 ml flask. Um, get on Amazon or eBay and buy some little elect little uh, magnetic stir rods. These are Teflon coated, no, not Teflon, some kind of plastic coating. It's anti-corrosive. They come in a million different sizes and they're really cheap. So you just drop this into your in your flask. Make sure it's centered up. And hit the switch. It creates a nice vortex. And that mixes your juice. Three minutes is all you need. Um, very effective. It's kind of a hidden little secret that I was fortunate to find uh, in my experience and research. But, um, this really truly does make um, steeping and mixing a breeze. Um, 
it doesn't introduce any extra oxygen. It just forces all the molecules inside of each element of each flavoring to really bind together super fast. So, uh, I mean, very simple, very cheap. You can do it yourself. You can buy them online, but they're like 200 bucks. Or you can build one yourself like this for under 10 bucks. Um, you can power it with a 9 volt or an adjustable DC converter. Um, super, super easy, super effective. So, yep, I'm going to cut it there. You guys take it easy.